Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. I figured today since I've got some things planned and I'm going to do a little bit of filming, we would do a little get ready with me and kind of go over some new products that I recently picked up from the drugstore. So a lot of these are all affordable, um, things that you can probably find at like Walmart, Target, um, maybe CVS or Walgreens. I'm not really sure. I didn't really look too deep in that. Um, first and foremost, you guys remember when ColourPop came out with their brushes? Well, I was unpacking a lot of my stuff when I was getting settled into the house, and I forgot that I had a roll of their brushes. This is the first one that came out, I think, before they came out with a second one. And I have not used these yet, so I'm actually going to be using them today. Like, they're literally brand new. When I say brand new... They're still in their, like, plastic wraps and everything. Oh, they're so pretty. I just love that light pink color. Also, another thing I want to point out, normally I'm not used to carrying, like, a huge makeup case. I used to have one of those ones that had the dividers in them, and then the top fold had the, you know, pockets for the brushes in them. But right now, I'm actually using this. Ooh, I don't know if you guys remember these. These are the hard case, um makeup cases when you open them up they have like you know your folding compartments and stuff like that um the reason why i'm using this a lot right now and it's definitely my go-to um compartment for all my travel makeup and stuff is because my fiance's father gave it to me because it belonged to his deceased mother and i was like wow this is kind of cool and so i've been using it ever since then i'm um, really just appreciating that this belonged to his mother at one point and you know to kind of honor um you know the fact that she's deceased i i kept it and i've been using it ever since i i got it it's been like maybe a week or two so let's start this um makeup video i've already washed and prepped my face um one of the things that i picked up was this uh wet and wild impossible um primer I haven't used this at all yet. I've actually been waiting to use it with you guys. Um, let's see. It says the one silicone free primer that does it all. That's a really big claim. Wet n Wild is definitely one of those more affordable brands. Um, so I really was interested by this. I tried to find that marshmallow one by, um, I think it's, I don't remember which one it was. It mattifies and hydrates. So that's. A really contradictive claim um, mattifies hydrates it blurs pores it preps skin for lasting makeup and it's impossibly silicone free and you know with my dry skin I don't wear a lot of mattifying foundations anymore so definitely not open yet whoa okay so this is really thick in consistency like it's thick it's not budging at all really thick Pop that on her face. It's very clear. I do like that. More on the nose and then the rest on the chin because I've had some problems with my chin lately because of the mask and all that stuff. It doesn't smell like anything. It kind of has a small scent to it actually. Let me see. Hmm. Oh, it feels nice. It's like really thick. It actually has a cooling feeling. Like my face, my T-zone feels really cool right now. It's not, I wouldn't say it's like super tacky, but it has that gripping feeling for a good foundation grip. Yeah, definitely not tacky. It feels like it's, it's really thick, but it's like absorbing into my skin really well. I don't know if this is really new, but it's something I picked up a while back before I left Texas. And I never really got a chance to talk about it at all. Pro Fusion Cosmetics Feel Good Skin Longwear Skin Perfector Foundations. Um, this is a hyaluronic acid medium to full coverage natural finish, um, natural satin finish with SPF 15 in it. And I freaking love this foundation. It's very affordable. Profusion, you'll find it a lot in Walmarts and Target. I don't know about CVS or Walgreens, but it's definitely one of my go-tos. And it's a pretty big container. Like, this is like 
the size of my face and it holds about one fluid ounce in this but it's still a really nice bottle has a really easy application it's definitely um, one of my favorites and it fits really good in my you know travel makeup box which is the one thing i really like about it it's definitely not super mattifying it doesn't make my face feel dry um it's definitely more on the medium to full side for sure a maybelline fit me in dewy and smooth and this is good for normal to dry skin in the beginning i was definitely normal to dry but with the weather here in Washington, I'm definitely more on the drier side because my skin is still getting used to, you know, the weather is drier. It's always raining here. The air is dry, but there's a lot of moisture in the air, if that makes sense. So this is what I've been reaching for um, pretty much every day. And I have mine in the shade 210, which is a sandy beige, and this is what fits my skin the best at the moment on the back of my hand and kind of just distribute it evenly across my face. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. And when it comes to coverage, it's definitely just like the original uh, Maybean formula where it's definitely medium to full coverage. Um, for me, it has the type of coverage that I really like. Sometimes I'll just use it to spot conceal. See? Half of my face is applied and the other half that's not. It has really, really good coverage and I only use enough to like pretty much put on that side of my face. I could probably use whatever's left on my sponge and do the other half, which kind of looks like I already have a little bit. I'm back and that coverage is freaking amazing. Like, wow. I love this foundation. Like, Maybelline is definitely top tier when it comes to drugstore. Um like products they honestly they are the best I would recommend them over most of the other brands anyways um the concealer we're gonna be talking about today if you guys remember in another um foundation review video that I did which I will post a thumbnail right here this is the concealer I don't know when they came out with this but apparently they just came out with this and it's new new I could only get one shade, unfortunately, in the store because I feel like the store versus the online selection is always so small and so limited and like the shades just kind of jump, like the different tones just like jump completely off the wall and I'm just like, there's only one I can really choose from. This is the hydrating concealer, also just like the, the foundation with this. You could definitely tell there was some separation between the concealer and some liquid at the top so that's why I shook it so I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this very lightly to my inner corners yeah this concealer is more of like a natural finish it's definitely hydrating but yeah it definitely has a very light hydrating coverage is it super brightening not really, but I think with this you can add some more if you really wanted to. And I'm I'm just going to go ahead and do that just a little bit more. I've been using this um, Kat Von D translucent powder. And this has actually worked really, really well underneath my eyes. And I've been using a brush for this. Just like that. And then kind of just lightly... I'm gonna brush this all over my face because this is a like travel case for all my makeup I do have to keep in mind with size and I just realized I said I was gonna use my ColourPop brushes and I didn't even grab that first I'm gonna go over this blush that I've been grabbing for the most and it is a mini version I think of the actual product it's the auto bomb girl power um, blush. I got a bunch of these in my Ipsy subscriptions when I had them. This is in the shade Houston Street and I'm going to be using the uh, bigger fluffier brush by Colourpop in um, F18. So definitely, it's definitely a nice brush actually. It's very soft. It has pretty good fibers. I wouldn't say they're not, they don't look like it's cheap quality. So I wish there was a brush size that was kind of in between this, like not too big, but not too soft, because this is more of a, a powder brush. 
but I, I wish there was something a little bit smaller that I could use, you know, just for blush. So unfortunately, there is no brush in here for bronzer, so I'm just going to go ahead and just grab this one that I have. Um, I don't think this is new, but this is the Physician's Formula um, Butter Bronzer, and I recently discovered this. I don't know why I never really looked at Physician Formula products before, but I recently did. This smells like coconuts and tropicalness. That's exactly what this bronzer smells like. And it smells so good. It is definitely more warm tone, but it's very close to my skin tone, so I don't really know if it's going to pick up at all. A lot of taps. So, I, oh yeah, that's definitely warm. So I like to just drag it down my cheeks first, kind of give it a sculpt, and then pat a majority of that on, you know, my temples. It's definitely on the warm side. It's it's uh on the camera it looks really orange like really really orange holy crap okay well we'll just make this work and kind of just buff that out on my it's not bad it's actually easy to blend out it definitely has that buttery feel to it it's just the wrong tone it's definitely I've noticed that a lot of bronzers are more war warm tone than they are cool tone. Um, I recently saw this in um, Jackie Ina's uh, little Snapchat series where she goes over and tries out the Nudes of New York by Maybelline. I haven't used this yet just because I've been waiting to film it. Alright, so when it comes to setting down my base before I really get into adding those transition colors, um, I like to use the fluffier... Um, eyeshadow brush. This is E15 and I'm gonna pat down um, Artist and maybe Soloist just to give it a better blend because I don't want it to be too white but I want it to have like a hue to it so it's really um, this color and this color so um, again quality wise it's not bad quality I'm kind of wondering how well it applies because my go-to makeup brushes are by Morphe and I love their brushes like they are the best so hmm. it's very soft very very soft I'm gonna be using the E16 um, that one is definitely a little more tapered it's definitely shorter not as fluffy as the other one or maybe I should go with this one first and then do this one. Or should I just go with this first and then this? Hmm, let's see. Yeah, I think I'm going to go in with heroin next. Let me unblur this. Did I blur it? Yeah, I did. Okay. I like to bring my transition shade up a little bit. Because I barely got any eyelids. You know, the Asian girl feel. Alright, this next brush is E17. I'm gonna go in with this shade down here, which is that darker brown. I know that's a huge jump from heroin, but this is in the shade Self Setter. All what I like to do a lot now, especially with age, um, I like to kind of like dab it where I really want it to be. After I've dabbed it, I'll go back in with my E16 and pretty much just blend it out with that fluffier brush. It gives it a more softer look versus how hard it looks when it's like dabbed on there. See? There you go. It looks softer already compared to that. So softer. Um, E21, which is definitely a shorter, very round tip kind of brush. I think that's more better for the lid. And this one can definitely be like more inner corner type colors, to be honest. Wow, I've never used a brush that picked up so good. And I think if you want a little more dramatic effect, I'm going to go in with my pinky. And... Oh, yeah. That's pretty. I'm going to go in with Dreamer because it's not as light. And put that in my inner corners. Let's see. Definitely has a rosy... Does it look rosy or does it look kind of gold? I can't tell. I think it's a more rosy tone color. Let me do my eyeliner, eyebrows, 
And then we'll talk about this last product that I am completely obsessed with. Like, you guys have no idea. Like, this is the holy grail of this category. Like, oh my gosh. All right, you guys, I am back and I finished my makeup look. The reason why I did finish my makeup look was mainly because I had already um, did a before and after picture using this product. And the product I really, really, really want to talk about, um, other than just my lips, which I forgot to film, is the Maybelline Last Sensational Sky High. So this is the uh, newest um, mascara that Maybelline has come out with. And it has um, pretty much said and claimed to have make your eyelashes look outrageously, like, long. And... I can personally, personally add to that uh, claim and give it a 10 out of a 10. So just before coming up here to Washington, I had recently done a eyelash extension and they fell out really soon on my left eye versus the right eye, which was super strange. I ended up having to just get rid of the right side as well. And it took a lot of my eyelashes on the left side, it ruined them. It looked really, really funky. When I picked this up and decided to try it out, I was immediately shocked at how um, it added length and it actually added like the look of lashes on my non-existent <laughs> lashes, if that makes any sense. Like it looked really, really good. So pretty much right here in this section right here, I will put the pictures of the before and after. You can definitely see the difference of like how bare it looked compared to the side where it was really full. On this side, I don't really have to worry about, you know, um, this side was definitely more fuller, which is why I put it more on this side, but I think I did a little before and after of both of them bare and both with the mascara on. And in that picture, I applied, I think I applied two coats at first and then I decided to go in with a couple more coats and it ended up looking really nice. I even added it to my lower lashes just because the brush is not really thick. So if you can take a look at that, it's a lot thicker down here, like wider, and then it gets a little bit more narrow but the bristles are short enough to where it can, you know, apply on my lower lashes without touching my lid and like kind of just getting all over the place. Um, I didn't do my old lower lashes right now, but I can actually show you guys. Um, let me see if I can. You see how I'm lightly, I'm lightly touching it, lightly. And it's really easy to maneuver. Like I could turn it this way and still be able to reach all corners and sides of my lashes. Like it applies really easily. It doesn't clump. Like I can easily go back in and fix it if I really need to. Like this side is like, there you go. Like, wow. And that's just very light of the hand strokes that I'm using and it looks so good. Like this mascara is amazing. It's really amazing. And again, it is a drugstore product. It's very affordable. Like if you have not tried this mascara yet, try it. It took me a while um, to find it. And then when I came up here and looked around and I think it was, was it Fred Myers or was it Walmart that had it? I think it was Walmart. They had it. I got it. Like, pfft. definitely the best investment. Like, this is my everyday mascara now. And the best part, it's easy to clean. It's not waterproof, but literally with just soap and water, it glides right off the eyelashes. It comes off really easily. It's, it's super nice. Super, super nice. And the one product I did forget to film was the Maybelline Lifter Gloss. I literally just put that on my lint. It is my lips. It is um, a gloss and it is tinted. Like you could see before uh, I finished my makeup how you know plain my lips looked, but this is this is a game changer. I don't wear a lot of glosses, um, 
up until like this past year, I've been obsessed with glosses. Like my favorite glosses are from Fenty Beauty, ColourPop. Like those are my top two favorite glosses. But now, now that Maybelline's come out with this baby, this is, oh yeah, this is definitely an affordable buy. And the best part, it's a thick applicator, just like, you know, just like the other brands. Let me pull out my Fenty one because I have it right here actually. So my Fenty one, also a thick applicator. I think the Fenty one is um, thicker and it's definitely a little different actually. Yeah. But I love it. Um, these smell like smackers. I don't know what it is about the Fenty one. I'm obsessed with these. This one doesn't have a scent to it. It's very light, but it smells like a lot of their other lip products. Kind of has like a chocolate scent to it, kind of. I don't know, but I love it. And it makes my lips feel so moisturized and it's just so like, oh my God. It's definitely not your everyday type of gloss. I really like this. It also has hyaluronic acid in it. And that is one of my favorite ingredients of all time. This is in the shade Silk, which is 004. So if you find it, definitely grab it. I have another one, but it's in my purse. So anyways, that brings me to the end of our Get Ready With Me video. I hope you guys enjoy this makeup look. I miss doing makeups with you guys. Like, oh my god. Hopefully, hopefully soon I can do more of these again because... I miss doing makeup with you guys. I really, really do. So until then, I will see you guys next time. I think the end of this video just kind of lagged a little bit, which was weird. Very weird. But anyways, until next time, I will see you guys soon. Oh, also, don't forget to subscribe, like my video, leave a comment. You know, if you want me to do a video on something or if you have any questions for me, just let me know, you guys. Yeah.